Welcome to the world of soft sanders and Superflex sandpaper. What we're about to show you will change the way you do auto body repair and save you time and money in the process. Soft sanders are designed by a body man for body men. So get ready to think outside the box and take a look at the last set of sanding blocks you'll ever have to buy. Hi, and welcome to the world of soft sanders. My name is Kevin Tates, and I've been in the auto body trade my entire life. And I've been teaching body shop techniques for a long time. And today we're going to show you why the soft sanders in combination with the Superflex paper are going to change the way you do auto body repair. And why the soft sanders are going to be the last set of blocks you're ever going to have to buy. You can buy your replacement Superflex sandpaper any number of ways, in individual packs with the different sizes, with grit range in the dry cloth bag ranging from 40 up to 320, or the wet or dry ranging from 400 up to 2500 grits in different sizes and different packs or multi-packs. You can also purchase on the roll depending on what your needs are. And the 5, 8, and 11 inch kits come with a selection of both wet or dry and cloth bag dry paper. The body shop in a bag comes with one sanding board and a good selection of sandpaper that matches that size. Now the soft sanders come in longer lengths and are available individually with lengths ranging up to 30 inches. These are available from any number of our distributors. But right now I want to show you how this system can save you time and make you money. Now the traditional way to apply PSA paper to a sanding board is to lay the block down and apply your paper to the sanding board itself. And that's okay until you try and flex the block. Not good. But with the revolutionary soft sanders and super flex paper, it's way outside of the box. First, you apply your super flex paper grit side to the panel. Then you take your sander and apply it to the sticky side of the paper while the paper is still on the panel. And what you end up with it's an exact representation of the shape of the panel that you're trying to block in the first place. If you give it a flex and a twist, it seats the adhesive to the block itself and still retains that shape, which gives you the ability to twist and maintain that contact patch. There's six blocks with three different densities, soft, medium, and more firm. Each block has unique work surfaces. Now, it kind of looks like they're foam. They're not styrofoam, and here's the difference. Now, they are foam, but they're a polyethylene foam, and it's impervious to lacquer thinner and acetone. Now, this is a cup full of lacquer thinner. And you can see it does nothing to the block. This is styrofoam. and they're not styrofoam. Using the technique of laying the paper on the panel and applying the soft sander to the adhesive, you can mimic even the complex curve of this import fender, and it even retains the twist. But the magic happens when you travel on the panel and apply even pressure. The sander conforms to the shape of the panel easily, no more chasing a brick over a curved surface. It doesn't matter what shape you're working with. There's a soft sander that's going to match that shape. Areas like this VW hood recess can be precisely blocked. By short sheeting the block, you can sneak up on the edges and valleys without bridging over style lines and creases, actually bumping the soft edge of the block against the area that you don't want to sand. These heat extractor vents could easily be cowl vents on a vintage muscle car and used to be some of the hardest places on any car to sand and prep. Since the soft sanders can form easily, these vents are effortless to prep. With the red sander, you can just use the finger and sand both edges at once. Flat panels are simple, with several block options. 
and you no longer have to push a heavy plastic or wood block across your panel. This is especially important on some of today's aluminum hoods and light gauge sheet metal. Plus, there's less mass to push and you don't have to work as hard. Now with a single piece of sandpaper on the block, you can see it does a nice job of blocking and it still has a little bit of flex, which is nice because not every surface is like a refrigerator. This one has a little bit of crown to it. But there's a great way to stiffen up the blocks. A couple of different ways to go about it. The first one is with a single sheet of paper. Let's roll the paper on and you can see what it does. It really stiffens it up from the side and gives you another profile to work. Not the only way. You can take a second sheet of paper and roll it on and it does a couple of different things. It really adds to the rigidity of this board. It gives you multiple areas to sand and you got a fresh piece if your paper loads to flip it over and keep working, keep making money. It's kind of like a unibody or a laminated airplane wing. Really adds strength without adding a lot of weight. But there's one more way to make these boards stiffer and that's just with some single masking tape, a couple of different layers here. And what that does is give it the same rigidity but it's not abrasive so you kind of Save your fingertips on that one. Louvers are a pain, no question, both to prep for paint as well as to color sand. The shape of the yellow block conforms perfectly. Using the purple oval, you can see the versatility and advantage of the soft sanders. Just match the shape of the block to the panel. Press the block onto the paper in the correct position then transfer both back to the panel and block, knowing that you're not dragging grooves into this wheel flare. Using soft sanders can be as simple as matching the shape of the block to the shape of the panel. Every surface of every block is a work surface, but you can utilize the shapes as handles and the rolled edge of the orange block matches many style lines and coves allowing you to block up into the style line without destroying the profile. Now this is a piece of conventional sandpaper. It happens to be on a soft sander but it could go on anybody's block. Let's see what happens when it goes underwater. Yeah, instantly the adhesive is gone. It absolutely won't stick. It's toast. It's toast. And furthermore, you can't bend it. The grit's coming off already. It, it just doesn't work. The adhesive on all of the Superplex paper is waterproof. And not only waterproof, but reusable over and over again. Just watch. Using a single sheet of 1000 grit wet or dry Superflex, I'm going to interchange several blocks. Each time I remove the paper, it's stuck well to the surface of the block, but still easy to remove, leaving no residue or adhesive behind. Notice also that the grid of the paper won't separate and the adhesive doesn't care if it's wet or dry. It still sticks. Those of you that like to wet sand, you know how much longer wet paper lasts simply because you can unload it easily. Well now you can get the benefit of PSA paper with your wet paper and stick it to any of the soft sanders or all of the soft sanders. Okay, this is the same piece of sandpaper with three different sanding blocks. Take it off, put it on underwater. What this means is that this paper will outlast everything else on the market, hands down. A 
less extreme example of wet sanding uses the purple oval block, which conforms to many different coves and concave surfaces, and allows you to roll the block, maintaining a crosshatch pattern. Color sanding can make or break a paint job, and the ability to block with shapes that match the panel can mean the difference between burning through edges and a successful rub out. The ability to use multiple work surfaces of the soft sanders is obvious here. A slight tilt of the block and you're easily blocking a very difficult area to sand with any other block. Now these two pieces have nothing to do with automotive bodywork. However, they will allow me to show you the adaptability and versatility of the soft sanders. Now the face will conform a little bit of pressure, just drag it along and it maps and mirrors no matter what the shape is. This edge here, if you look at it, it looks like it doesn't fit. Give it a little pressure and still conforms perfectly to the surface you're working on, even into a hard 90. Now you might be saying, of course it contours, of course it moves, it's a soft sander, it's supposed to, until of course you have sandpaper on it and then it stiffens up. And that's true, but there's a technique that gives you the best of both worlds. Take a piece of the Superflex, you score the backing paper until it splits. Peel the one side back. Now here's the technique. Just as a bridge is over, you're right there. You roll it back like you're rolling a cigarette. You knead it a little bit to get a bit of flexibility. The important thing is the slippery backing paper stays there and allows it to float against the surface. So now, you can take and push it down again, and since both surfaces are utilizing each other, you can do the same techniques, almost even into the hard 90. It works beautifully on complex surfaces. So where are you going to find a bowl on a car? Well, believe it or not, this internal shape is found on several vehicles. For instance, between the back bumper and the deck lid of a Tri-5 Chevy, you've got internal concave crevices like this. So typically what you do, is get in there with your hands, and you'd hand sand that. And you think by moving around, you're getting a little bit of consistency. But what happens is this. You have a finger, 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 empty space, empty space, and this right here, as well as these two raised areas, are going to scratch and groove your panel, which is going to map through your paint and is going to break your heart. With the soft sander, it'll conform. It'll smile just like that. So you can get in there. And you can do a crosshatch pattern. You can maintain that even contact patch on that inside crevice. And this proves it. You've got even coverage here. There's no peaks, there's no valleys. It's not this. It's blocking, not gouging. It's repairing, not damaging. Now this block, it might seem that these are nice little finger grooves and gives you a great way to hold on to it, and that's true. However, don't forget that every soft sander, every surface on it is designed to be a work surface. And that means that you can, you can contour, drive it down into the groove, 
roll it back and you've got a perfect gouge, a perfect channel where you could safely and effectively block a piece of steel rod, a control arm, whatever you need that's that shape. Now this block comes with a groove right here and you may need this shape at some point but if you're working on an area that's this wide and you need a flat surface to block against you can still do that with this sander. Let me show you. What you'll do is give yourself some room to wrap around, roll it up but maintain some pressure just like that. Then with the pressure still on you wrap your other side up Pull it back down, give it a press, and you've got the shape that you need with a contact patch that you've created, and you can do your work just like that until you pull the paper off and it goes right back to the way it came out of the box. Here's why this is a great system, why the soft sanders are perfectly mated for the Superflex paper. This is a cool trick. What you can do Work your paper, soften it up a little bit, then take it, walk it down a little bit, give it a press, give it a roll, and you've got a blade edge here. What that allows you to do is literally use it like a blade. none of the grit ever disappears off of a fold like this and you can contour and it mirrors the surface that you're working it keeps the profile and returns back to its form even though the adhesive is strong it's still reusable. Now on the top surface, that's just a bit of wood debris. That's not the paper getting bald. So you can literally reuse this piece of superplex paper over and over again, and it's never going to go bald. Now with your conventional sandpaper, you can see what happens when you try and flex it, roll it, or manipulate it these raised areas, that is standing the grid on end, you're going to have balding issues on the peaks, and it's going to transfer into your workpiece. On the coarser grits, it's even that much more obvious. If you try and roll it, you're delaminating. It's, it's turning the surface into something that's going to do damage instead of repair. With the Superflex, it's just not the case. This paper is pre-flexed and pre-rolled, and it just doesn't transfer onto the paper. It goes back flat and it maintains the grit and it maintains what you're trying to do to your panel. It's even more obvious when you put it on a sanding board. We hope you've enjoyed seeing what flex sanders and super flex paper can do for you. These demos just scratch the surface of the ways that you can improve your efficiency and quality. So get creative and see for yourself how these revolutionary new tools can make you money.